Hey, y'all ready to have a good time in here? I know y'all looking at All right, this is what I need y'all to do, okay? I am from Chicago. I came to take this show to another level. Are y'all ready? All right, come on. This is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to clap. Come on. 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 I am from Chicago, y'all. I came all the way up here to check y'all spot out, hopefully get some things, man. I need y'all to relax, you know what I mean? Sit back. You came with somebody you like, feel on her ass during my show. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? You Mexican stab somebody in here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but don't cough, because we don't want none of that bullshit going on. You know? I watch the news. What the hell? <laughs> I like a loose crowd, you know? I don't like no real tight crowds. I had one in Canada. This crowd was super tight, you know what I mean? I mean, you could, have you ever seen a person who everything about them is tight? They clothes tight, everything, you know? It was a dude in line at the show in Canada. His clothes were so tight, you could tell what he was saying and he wasn't even looking at you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, hey man, you going into the show? He was like, oh hell yeah! going into the show. That shit gonna be funny, dog. It's gonna be real funny. I heard that Aaron Foster's funny. <laughs> oh, thank you for them laughs, baby. I'm working hard for that already. <laughs> Man, I love this job, boy. Woo, we got birthday people. I know she ain't back, but it's another birthday over here, ain't it? Ain't it a birthday? It's your birthday, Pops? Oh, congratulations. I appreciate you making another year. That's great. This is good shit. That's good. I, he feel the same way I do. You know what I mean? That's great. And it's good for a man to come out and, and uh, get to celebrate. Because I know you didn't made, made a few years, and this is probably one of the few times you got to come out and celebrate, isn't it? See, he's shaking. Y'all give it up for him for coming out. That's right. He's like, yeah. It's her birthday. I was like, women always get to celebrate. We don't never get to celebrate. That's what I'm trying to, the message we dealing with. We don't, men, we don't get to celebrate. You know, women, she out here, her friends buying all the drinks. She probably gonna be drunk as hell at the end of the night. You know? They paying for all the drinks. He gotta pay for the drinks at his table. You know what I'm saying? It's his birthday, you know what I mean? That's terrible, man. I looked, you know, I was like, man, it's gotta be something out here for men. It's got to be. So I searched the internet. I looked all around the world on the internet to find something for men, and I found it, Pops. I found it. I found a day for you and me. All right, y'all ready to hear about this day I found on the internet? Yeah. Look at it. He's like, yeah, where the men at? Make some noise. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I found steak and BJ day. <laughs> That's right. Steak, yeah, clap. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. There should be some ladies clapping for that. You know what I mean? Look, she clapping, you know, steak and BJ day. That's the greatest day on earth, ain't it, fellas? Shit, I couldn't even sleep on steak and BJ Eve. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, I don't want to go to sleep. I might miss it. <laughs> Shit, that was the greatest day on earth, you know? Shit, I don't know. There should be some ladies clapping on. You know what I mean? Y'all should be, oh, I love BJs. You know what I mean? Shit, that, steak and BJ day is meat for your mouth and meat for hers. You know what I'm saying? Shit, don't miss it. That's what I'm talking about. Shit, that's, shit, I loved it so much, I even celebrated it like it was a real holiday. You know, I had a steak and BJ tree in my house. You know what I mean? Steak and BJ tree was phenomenal. Like, y'all, y'all look like y'all been married for a little while. You know what I mean? You, y'all love each other. You put mints on your tree. You know what I mean? Mints. That's a minty blowjob. Great thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If you ain't, you ain't known your girl too long, like y'all look like y'all might have just met a little while ago. Even though, you know, okay, well. Just pretend, well, I ain't got a lot of time. <laughs> Somebody who just met their girl a little while ago, like, y'all, put condoms on your tree. You know what I'm saying? Condoms on your tree mean you sexy, I like you, but I'm not finna go home with herpes from your ass. 
So <laughs> leave that alone, you know. If my girl got a little weight, I put donuts on my tree, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she loved powdered donuts, boy. <laughs> that was a great day for me, you know. <laughs> love her, I love her to death, dog, you know. <laughs> it was good, so steak and BJ day for the men, boss. Give it up, you know. There you go. I did come from Canada, and if you've been to Canada, you know you know that uh, they alcohol is three times our alcohol. You you been there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I got so drunk. Have you ever been so drunk you just had to pee in the tub? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I couldn't even make it to the bathroom. I was like, oh, one eye and it uh, <laughs> like that. <laughs> but I had fun, absolutely fun, and had a lot of fun. I am from Chicago, so I'm gonna talk about some Chicago shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got Obama fans in the audience. Where y'all at? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I loved Obama, man. I, I was uh, so proud to see him, you know what I mean? Finally on television, we had a tall, black, articulate, well-educated man with a chance, and he actually won. You know what I mean? That was great. <laughs> Young black guy from Chicago, that was great for me because TV sucked prior to him getting on there. Yeah, we went through three years of flavor of love. Y'all hear me? <laughs> exactly. That was the worst shit you ever seen on TV for a black man. Flavor Flav had women, 25 women, three times, kiss him on TV on his mouth. I was like, all of them should turn to stone right then and there. Y'all, <laughs> you know, I couldn't believe you found women to kiss his ugly butt. That was terrible, man. Yeah, and it had all types of spinoffs off of it, you know what I mean? Spinoff, Who Loves New York? That was a spinoff. Nobody loved her loud mouth ass until she got them boob job, you know what I'm saying? I love titties. I, did I mention that earlier? No, but I mention it now. <laughs> I love titties, you know what I'm saying? They got For the Love of Ray J. That's the new one, you know what I mean? That's the new spinoff of all of that. That's some bullshit. I'm waiting for some more ignorant shit like The Love of J.J. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about? James Evans Jr. Yeah, from, from uh, Good Times. Y'all remember J.J. Evans? I want to see that one, you know what I mean? It'd be a whole bunch of 70-year-old women still loving his dumb ass. You know what I mean? When they get kicked out the house, they got to say, dynamite! You know what I'm saying? And he hold, he give them two sticks of dynamite, then they run outside and see if they going to blow up or not. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Love of JJ. I'm a big Oprah fan. Is any Oprah fans in here? Where the Oprah fans at? It's a few Oprah fans. That's good. I've been on her. Sh I've been to her show three times, which was cool. You know, one time she even p bent over in front of me, and I got to see her titties. Did I tell y'all I love titties? <laughs> which, <laughs> hey, I looked. It was before the surgery and everything, so they was kind of ugly looking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But they was million dollar titties, so who wouldn't look, you know? <laughs> I was in there like, I love those, those are nice. Would you like me to touch them? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oprah. So the thing about Oprah though, when you go there, she has all types of stuff, you know what I mean, on her show. She trying to save the world. I think sometimes in my delusional state, I want to save the world, just make people laugh. It don't matter what color you are, accept me, whatever. And she does the same thing in her show, but sometimes she gets strange on her show, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was sitting there watching her sh Oprah show one day, and she had this lady sitting at her desk at work. The lady was getting videotaped, so you know, it was a real low base job, you know what I mean, <laughs> when they videotape you. And the lady must have had a fight with her boyfriend that day because her boyfriend came in with a gallon of gasoline and poured it on her and then set her on fire. Did anybody see that? No. That was, yeah, she stood up, blue flame, jumping off of her and everything on Oprah's show, you know what I mean? I was like, oh my God, they had dude on TV from, you know, jail on satellite, you know? And Oprah was like, he's crazy. And the crowd was like, he's crazy. And I was like, yeah, he crazy. Do he realize how much gas costs these days? <laughs> <laughs> you can't be pouring gas out like that. You should have stomped her or something, you know what I'm saying? You, Choked her up, you know. <laughs> I'm just playing. These are jokes, don't <laughs> y'all? Like he beats his woman? No, I don't. I don't. She's tough. She can be, but she does have strange stuff on her show. And let me give y'all a public service announcement, men. If your girl asks you to go to Oprah's show, don't go. <laughs> don't go. 
Don't go. Oprah has been kicking men in the ass since 1984. Y'all know that. You know.